Welcome back everybody on YouTube. Steve here, Rake and Profit. Hopefully you guys are having a phenomenal day so far. My day is going tremendous and um, as I went along my day, I passed a couple of thrift stores. I passed a Savers and then I passed a Goodwill. So I wanna share with you guys a couple items that I came across. Time spent was about 15 minutes at Goodwill and probably 10 minutes at Savers. So I move pretty quickly when I'm going in there. Um, I wasn't focused on clothing today, especially at Savers because there just wasn't a ton there. There's a sale going on. A lot of the stuff got wiped out. But I did find a couple items over at Goodwill. Um, they are in my trunk right now, so I'm not going to be able to share them with you. But uh, definitely come back to you guys with a clothing haul as well. It's just a little more challenging to show the clothes and... I'm in a car right now. So anyways, we'll do a clothing haul soon enough. But uh, yeah, welcome, welcome everybody. I found some pretty cool items that I'm gonna sell on Amazon FBA. And I wanna share with you guys what I found so you could go out there and replicate it. You know, what I'm doing, going out there picking and hustling and finding items to flip locally on Craigslist, flipping items on eBay, on Amazon FBA, it's nothing special, right? Obviously, I've got some knowledge and I've been in the game for four or five years and I'm sure I've got some advantages over you know, the beginners and intermediates, but what I'm doing really isn't that special. To be honest, a lot of what I'm doing is just going out there and scanning barcodes, right? Recognizing the opportunities, one, and then actually taking the time to scan the barcodes and then analyze the data. So I wanna share with you guys what I found. If you're excited to get into this haul, do me a big favor, guys, and hit that like button down below if you're not already a subscriber be sure to subscribe and let's dive into the content so i guess we'll start with savers um at savers i did find a couple of board games right here these are well one of them is glee seen it which is actually doing pretty well i don't remember exactly what it was going for uh, but you could look it up i paid 3.99 for this right here uh glee board game I think it's going for like 20 or 30 bucks. Actually, I think it was 35. I might be wrong. I don't know. I have to look it up again, but it was definitely a good deal at $3.99. So always look up the Scenic games. Not all of them are going to be worth really, really good money. But number one, look to make sure that it's brand new in the wrapping. If it's brand new, scan it. And then, you know, if it's selling for $20 plus and the ranks like, you know, under, I'd say, six or hundred thousand, six or seven hundred thousand in the toy category, toy category, you're gonna be pretty good to go. You know, these do sell a million rank plus, especially during Q4, um, but this was a solid rank. I think it was like 100K, somewhere around there. So that was a pretty cool find right there. And uh, I don't know, a lot of times I find, like when I find one board game that's brand new, I always seem to find another one. So here's another seen it uh, board game as well. Nothing special, but brand new in the wrap, the DVD. Uh, movie game right here and I paid $3.99 for this as well so not much to say but you know if you find something brand new scan that puppy you never know what it's gonna be going for let me, whoa let me put that back there uh, next item so that's all I found at Savers it wasn't a home run over there um, but definitely made made some decent money oh, it looks like I just sold a uh, low Alpine uh, backpack cool so that sold for 40 something bucks plus shipping or 30 plus shipping. Um, over to Goodwill, popped up, popped on this uh, uh, Ravensburger puzzle right here for $3. Definitely an awesome brand to be on the lookout for when you are messing with puddle, puddles, puzzles. Uh, just like the board games with the puzzles, make sure they're brand new. Brand new in the shrink wrap. I don't mess with puzzles. I don't mess with board games that aren't new. You know, for the most part, 98% of the time, you know, there are those rare, hard to come across games where it's, you know, it's selling for a hundred plus used. In that instance, yes, I'm gonna look through, make sure all the pieces are there. But uh, here's another example of, you know, a puzzle board game that is brand new. Uh, $3 right here. The rank was, you know what? I don't even remember what the rank was, but this was selling for I think twenty-five or twenty-six dollars right here, a uh, thousand pieces. These always do really, really well. Remember that right there, Ravensburg. Yeah, so three bucks, probably gonna make fifteen dollars profit, and my windshield wipers just went on, 
So uh, gotta respect that, definitely a decent find. I've got one item that I'm gonna share with you guys that you guys are gonna, your mind's gonna be blown because this is an awesome, awesome, awesome board game to be on the lookout for. And there's a whole bunch of different versions. Some go for higher, some go for lower. I'm gonna share with you guys a board game that's selling for $100 with like 142,000 rank, but you're gonna have to wait another couple minutes. So next thing that I came across was one, two, Hey, Knights Required, good to see ya. And three. These are the uh, Lego Disney 75115 Lego sets right here. The buildable, the buildable uh, figures right here. The Poe Dameron. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. These were six bucks each. These are an originally $24.99. This was Target clearance. And uh, these are only selling for about 17 right now, but I am gonna wait on these things because I know the value is gonna go up. And it's just one of those things, you know, um, I'll get I'll get rid of this in three months or less, but I'm probably gonna put it higher, maybe around like 22, 23. I do need to take a look at, uh, wow, this looks crazy. That's a good uh, thumbnail. I do gotta look up, take a look at Camel Camel Hamel. Camel Camel Camel, <laughs> Camel Camel Hamel to see the price history of this uh, item right here. But, uh, even if I sold it at 17, I'm still making like three or four dollars, uh, three or four dollars profit. So either way, for six bucks plus tax, that's a pretty decent find right there. Again, it's not a home run, but Legos are always a good investment if you don't drop them and destroy them. And uh, the last item I want to share with you guys, this is the home run. Um, can you guys fill in the blank? The settlers of Fill in the blank. The Settlers of, it's a board game that you definitely want to be on the lookout for. I found one. This is a pretty cool one right here that was actually selling for around $99 with 140,000 rank, I believe. Does anybody know what board game this is? Come on, guys. I know you guys are watching. Somebody knows. Yes. Matt Durand knows Catan. The Settlers of Catan right here. Check this out right here. I think it's an older version. I'm not sure. I'm trying to see what the date is. Anyways, this was coming in at like uh, $99 with a really decent rank. So you definitely want to be on the lookout for Settlers of Catan. Brand new, never opened. $3, guys. These are the types of things that when you walk into a thrift store and you find it, bada bing, bada boom, the profits are coming soon. This is the type of stuff, right? So. You know, I live for this stuff, guys. It's like when you go in there and you find that rare video game or that rare board game, or you go in there and you find those Ermini Gildo Yegna and Canali suits, like modern, like you know they're going for 150 plus, or like that Laurel Piana cashmere sweater. Like I live for those things. Like I live for these board games, right? Like I'm not going out there picking like 30, 40 hours a week like some people. You know, I'm out there part time, I'm running other businesses, I'm staying busy. So, you know, when I come across things like this, it's just like a quick payday. So, uh, if you are a settler of Catan, Trump won't let you in the US. So, I'm not gonna go talk politics right now because to be honest, I don't really care because I'm out there making money, hustling. Politics ain't gonna stop me. I don't care if you're for Trump or against Trump. I'm out there making the money and you should too. Don't use the politic nonsense to stop you. Go out there, make it happen. Go get go get a board game like this. I bet you there's another one sitting out there somewhere. But you gotta go out there and hustle. You gotta go out there and grab it. You know, like I said, Jim, I'm, I'm out there making money. How do I start? Watch some videos, educate yourself for about a week or two and then start visiting thrift stores, start visiting garage sales and just start buying items. Download the eBay seller app, download the Amazon seller app. Do some quick research, right? And start popping on items. Then get back home. List those items. Don't let the death piles form up. List those items. Don't be lazy. Don't procrastinate. Get out there. Hustle. Find some items. List some items. And make some money. It ain't that complicated, right? So go out there. Make it happen like I just did. I'm nothing special. Just a normal guy out there hustling, making some money. So I'm here right now in the kitchen cooking up an amazing meal. I already showed you guys this the other day, but I'm here with Mama Prophet. She should be coming out soon. She found an amazing item that is over there. And oh, look who's coming out. Who we got in the house? Mama Prophet. Mama Prophet's in the house. People really like that video you did the other day walking into Goodwill where you told everyone you're not there to make friends. Right. <laughs> you don't make friends at Goodwill? No more. <laughs> so why don't you walk over and show everybody what are you 
What did you find? Tell them the story that you were telling me just a few minutes ago. Well, I was in the game section looking around and then this was hidden under other games. Wow. So uh, I snatched it up and I called my son and I wanted to see if it was for real. This is brand new sealed and the text message you sent me was, you sent me a picture of this item and right when I saw this title, I knew it was good because I picked one of these up used in Baltimore and it was going for like 40 bucks. It was a different version. But when I saw that this was sealed, <laughs> How did you, you said it was hidden underneath something? Yeah, I could see the wrapping glaring out because there was stuff all around it. So I said, let me pull it out. Holy mackerel. So this item is crazy. This item's gone for what on Amazon? 195. 195 with a 400,000 rank. Now, um, I don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna take to sell. I don't even know if it will sell for that price, but 400,000 in toys, items are moving. There's a big following behind this game. And on Amazon, um, excuse me, on eBay, there was one being sold new for 155 and then 260. I think 260 is too high, but man, you killed it. Holy, you know what the funny thing is? I was actually, I, I went yard selling. I found a bunch of cool stuff and I'm gonna show these guys what I picked up for 30 bucks for my own consumption. But I was thinking about stopping by Goodwill and I didn't go in. I didn't go in and imagine how many other resellers were out there who wanted to go in but didn't and they passed this up. Well, after I had snatched this and I was in the book section, I saw two young guys looking up stuff in the <laughs> toy area for gloves. Did they see you with that? No. Oh my God. Imagine a reseller who knows what they're doing, who's into like games and stuff, sees Sees a mama prophets walk by with one of these games. I don't know if they looked in my carriage or not later on, but they got gloves Holy and they mackerel. got helmets. So they were looking it up to see if they were worth oh, money, yeah. and they had them in their hands. So if I didn't snatch this up or if I was too late going in. See, there's a certain section at this Goodwill that we go to down the aisle where they have like a lot of games that are hidden underneath things. And if you don't look under there, you won't. You, won't, you wouldn't even know, but uh, this is an item that I picked up. Uh, there's like not a lot of light here. I'm gonna try to get some light. Uh, oh, here we go. It's called Game Genie. It's got the couple books. It's got this thing, that thing. Six, uh, eight bucks. This should go for, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. But uh, anyways, nice work. Did you find anything else over there? Two books that were in the 40s or 60s. What were the rigs? They were low. Like what's low? Cause a lot of people always ask mom like, oh, I wanna sell books, but what's a low rank? They were under 900 at least. 900,000? Yeah. Okay, so. I'm guessing. Not super low, but anything under a million Maybe is even decent. lower. Okay. And now, live on camera, why don't you open up that door, and I want to show you what I found for 30 bucks today. Which, and I'll tell you guys, garage sales are great because you can find items for, your, for yourself. Wow. 30 bucks. and got myself a whole patio set and my girlfriend's gonna be coming over soon she's been saying uh you know i want to i want to get one of these wow. and but looking in the store they're quite expensive now do you need to put like a cushion on these? yeah so they did come with cushions oh but mice had get, gotten into them and they were all like ripped up and oh. stuff so uh he actually told me the guy selling it was a lawyer he said his wife worked at christmas tree shop oh. and you can get them there they're all on sale because they're you know what the cool thing is when summer starts to end they move it all out they clearance it all out so yeah and you should probably take a measurement of the bottom yeah so at least you know you're not yeah getting one too small nice. so also i know it's beautiful also what does this do cranks it yeah oh. and the cool thing about this thing is you could actually tilt it like you could literally tilt it all the way over to a huge angle so like say the sun's coming in you really? could tilt the thing so it goes all the way down this way nice um i'm trying to think oh yeah I'll tell the guys live on camera, the guys and gals who are watching, I picked up a bunch of shelving systems for my garage. So I'm gonna be putting all my eBay stuff, uh, organizing it all, which is super duper important. Let me see if I can flip this camera around. I can't figure it out. But uh, yeah, nice work at Goodwill. Just wanted to share it with everybody. <laughs> That's quite the score. Yeah, How's your I wasn't gonna put it back on the shelf because I said I need to talk to you to make sure this is correct. Yeah. And I kept looking over and over on the screen to for see six if it bucks, was the game. For six bucks, I'm going to tell everybody right now. For six bucks, if you were to invest in anything and it's like ridiculously high, I mean, just take the risk. You know, especially if it's toys, if it's under half a million and it's 
and there's you know several merchants, several F FBA sellers. Just take the risk. It's but phew, high five. Holy yeah. crap! That's and your business is doing very well. I don't want to get into the super specifics, but you're having a very good month so far in Amazon. Yes, I'm really trying to push it. Do you notice that the more you the more you send in and the more you source, the more you make, or is that just a rumor? No, you do make more, <laughs> but your ranks have to be low. The uh, lower, okay. the better. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right, well, there's the patio. There's Mama Profits. Here's my beautiful apartment neighborhood area. So, yeah, we're going to get going. Go pick it up and get our money. What's happening, everybody on YouTube? Steve with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Coming to you with another video, and we're actually in my storage unit. So I apologize if you can't see me very well. There's just, there's no lighting in here, so I'm doing the best I can. But at any rate, in today's video, I want to give you a little mini haul. And if you look behind me on the top rack right here, those are pretty much the items that I found today when I went out picking to two Salvation Armies and a few of them on my right side over here. And that's going to be your left side. A few of them I found like a week ago and I still haven't got to listing them yet. But um, yeah, I'm going to pick and choose about 10 items. I'll show you what I found and give you an idea of uh, maybe what I paid and what I could sell it for. Um, a lot of these items, I kind of just guess what it's going to be worth. And if there's enough profit margin in it, I'll buy it. So I'm going to give you estimates of what I think it'll sell for. But I still haven't, I haven't scanned a complete listings and really done my diligence, due diligence. But uh, at any rate, let's jump into today's haul video. First item is a Bruin starter jacket, and this thing is sweet. These old uh, vintage starter jackets do really well. Uh, I don't know if I can get to the tag or not, but uh, $9.99 got that for five bucks half off. Sweet item that should probably bring in, I don't know, at least thirty or forty, I'd say maybe more. Oh my God, this is a beauty! Check out this Tommy Bahama. You probably can't see how nice it is without the light, but it is a beautiful color. Really nice. $4.99 half off, $2.50. I might shoot for like $40 or $50 on this. This puppy is beautiful. All right, when, you, when you're looking for Ralph Lauren Polo, you want to find the odd, the different, the unique stuff, the stuff that kind of stands out at you. And check this out. This was $2.50, Ralph Lauren Polo. Doesn't look like it's any anything that crazy, but when you turn it around, boom, look at that. I don't even know what it says, but it just looks wonderful. I mean, that's going to bring in at least 30 bucks, maybe 40 We'll see. All right, I actually picked this up yesterday at a Goodwill, and the brand is Innis Crafts. I'm not sure. You're not going to be able to see it. I-N-I-S Crafts. 100% wool, just a beautiful sweater. Take a look at that. I mean, hand knit, made in Ireland. That's the stuff you want to be looking for with the sweaters. And uh, just a nice item. Check the completed listings for that brand. And uh, I mean, they do pretty well. Maybe 40 bucks on that. Paid, I paid $5.99. Let's see. All right, got ourselves a nice little blazer right here. And I actually picked this up um, at a Savers about. A week, week and a half ago, brand new with tags, Stafford, the gold buttons, fully lined, nice item. Paid $7.99, should probably get new with tags, maybe around $50 to $75. Alright, I'm going to show you the biggest blazer that I ever found. I mean, this thing is freaking humongous. Here it is right here. Guess what the size is? 64 regular i i didn't even know that blazers came in that big of a size but the brand is i think it's yeah alexander lloyd's got the gold buttons real nice navy blue blazer and uh i mean the reason why i picked it up was one the solid navy blue color was really nice the gold buttons were nice it was fully lined and the size was huge so i figured you know those bigger folks that are looking for a blazer they're not going to have that much of a selection so uh hey we'll see what happens <laughs> Here's a nice shirt that I picked up. The brand is Thomas Dean. Spread collar, striped, nice buttons, purple and blue. Nice item right there. Paid. I'm not sure what I paid. I think I paid like three or four bucks. That'll bring in like 30.
Paid $1.50 on this, half off, $2.99. Nice yellow color, front pocket, spread collar. The brand is Ike Bahar, and it's a decent brand. Has the dry cleaner tag still on it, that's nice. I mean, these things take a little bit, a little bit of time to sell, but when they sell, they usually sell for a good profit, especially like the older ones. Should shoot for maybe 25 to 30. Here's a nice wool, not wool, I'm sorry. This is a cotton, yeah, cotton and polyester blend. This is kind of like a sweater pullover. The brand is Orvis, really nice. It's got like the little uh, design around the collar, the contrasting colors right over here. Nice item, should shoot for maybe uh, 35, paid 450. All right, here's a pair of jeans that I picked up. The brand is Lucky Brand. And again, these things, sometimes they take some time to sell. Paid $350. Other times they sell quick. But uh, for $350, why not? Shoot for maybe uh, $20 to $40, maybe a little more on that. Here's a nice button front shirt. It's got a really cool... Uh, unique print and design to it, almost like an Aztec kind of style to it. Almost looks like a Jane Barnes shirt. A lot of those will come with this print. Paid three, no, four ninety nine half off. Paid two fifty. The brand is Masoni, Masoni Sport. So check the completeds on those. Those seem to do pretty well. Here's a nice, uh, a nice item right here. The brand is Hugo Boss, made by. It's made in Italy. Tesse Biela, not sure, but it's 100% linen, really nice. I'm sure you're not going to be able to see it too well in the dark, but, uh, I mean, only paid $4.99 for that half off, so, I mean, you cannot complain. Bring in maybe 60 or 70 on that puppy. And here's a nice harem bone style Ralph Lauren. It's got the cool little design right here, uh, partially lined. It's got the leather buttons. You probably can't see that with the light. I apologize, but a nice, a nice item. The leather elbow patches. Got to love that. In that for about five bucks. Going to shoot for maybe fifty to seventy-five. Here is another Ralph Lauren shirt. The reason why I picked this up was first of all, it was only two dollars and fifty cents. And second of all, the size was too extra large tall. So anytime you get that big and tall stuff, especially in like well-known brands like Tommy Bahama or Ralph Lauren or even Lacoste, like size 9, you're going to make a lot of good money. So uh, yeah, keep your eye out for stuff like that. And I'll pick out one more. Let's see. All right, I'm going to pick this out because a lot of people, they avoid certain brands because maybe it's not like super popular or... Maybe typically it doesn't sell for good profits, but I'm going to show you an example of when I do pick up lower end brands to flip for good profits. And the brand was Gap. And usually I don't buy this. Usually it doesn't do too well, but first of all, the color is just beautiful. It's in like minty mint condition. It's got really nice buttons on it. Size so 2 extra large, and it's like like new. So only paid $1.50. You're going to shoot for maybe 20 to 30 on that. We'll see. So as you can see, I got a lot of items behind me. I can go on and on all day showing you items, but uh, in the near future, I'll do some more haul videos, but I just want to show you a few examples of items that I picked up today. Sorry, I'm kind of running low on energy. been running around all day since like 9 in the morning, and uh, it's in the evening now, so I'm kind of low on energy, but just want to give you a little uh, tidbit of what I picked up, and uh, maybe in hopes to help you out to make money when you're buying and selling clothing for eBay. Video. And today I spent about 7 or 8 hours hitting a bunch of thrift stores. I went all over Connecticut, had a whole route planned, and had a ton of fun. So I figured I would bring it back to my old roots, my old thrifting, and show you guys exactly what I found. So just to update you guys, I've actually just recently gotten back into reselling, and primarily Amazon FBA, and I'm actually going to be opening up a eBay store again as well, and selling a little bit of clothes. I'm still not really sure yet, but I want to show you guys what I found. I'm really excited because it was so much fun hitting the thrift stores again, and actually going out and looking for stuff to resell. So this is going to be a lot of fun, so let's dive into this video. Let me show you the items I found today. 
All right, so I'm actually in my living room right now, and I've got all the stuff that I found today scattered on this table. And uh, let's start from the right-hand side, my right-hand side, and uh, go through these items that I found. Again, 99% of this stuff is going to be put on Amazon FBA, and uh, I've got about 1% that's going to go on eBay. So let's get into this video, and let me show you the first item that I found. So this is in no particular order, but this is an item I found at a Sabres for $9.99. And as you guys know, Sony stuff brand new in the packaging is gold. And this is the Sony uh, Psych, I believe it's pronounced. This is the Pulse Red color, brand new. I can't say how excited I was when I actually found this. And this is probably gonna go for somewhere around $100, I'm guessing. When I looked on Amazon, I didn't see any other people selling this brand new for this particular color. So I still need to do some more research, but I'm certainly gonna get a lot more than $9.99 for it. Next item is this Interlink Lightspeed 100 uh, cable cord, and this is $4.99. Again, I don't know much about this, but uh, brand new in the box stuff always seems to do well. I think that's going for somewhere around $20, maybe a little more, give or take. All right, next item on deck is this iHome alarm system. This was $4.99, and... Um, Definitely look these things up when you're out and about. I've been looking them up lately and it seems like certain models seem to do pretty well. And uh, this thing looks like it was complete. I still need to do some more research, but it was $4.99 and it looks like that's going for somewhere around 30 or 40 buckaroos. Here we go, we've got a thermo scan. This is one of those uh, things you stick in your ear or your kid's ear and uh, check their temperature, I believe. And this was $3.99 and the prices for this were a little all over the board, but it looked like that was going somewhere between $50 to $100. Not sure how realistic that price is. And you know how it is on Amazon. Sometimes you get these prices that are just ridiculous. Other times you're sitting and waiting. So we'll see, but that's certainly going to go for a lot more than $3.99. And um, I believe the rank was a little high, but we'll see how that does. Here we go. It is a keyboard. What's this called? An ergonomic? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Um, a keyboard. This is actually a wireless keyboard. I believe this is made by, yep, Microsoft. And this was $3. And it's in really good condition. It looks like it's working. I got to play with it a little more. But that's going for around $30. Bucks. All right. Here is a Sony product. I'm not exactly sure what this is. It's almost like a radio slash... Um, receiver or something. I forgot what the terminology was on the actual listing, but this was $1.49 and there was one on Amazon FBA going for $39.99. So I'm going to bring that in used probably somewhere around 30 bucks. Awesome find right there. Keep your eye out for the Sony stuff. This is actually a cassette I found the other day. I didn't find that today. I think that was going for like 10 or 15. The uh, Forrest Gump soundtrack brand new in the package. All right, right here we got a bunch of CDs. Um, I actually picked up two Unreal tournaments, and these are used. The reason why I picked it up is because this one in particular is doing really well. Unreal Tournament Game of the Year Edition. I believe that was going for about 30 bucks, so that's a pretty cool uh, PC game right there. This one isn't going for as much, but I think it's doing decent. I'm not sure. And they got a bunch of uh, random CDs. I'm not going to go through them, but uh, a lot of them are brand new in the package. Moving forward, got a bunch of random little... Uh, thingamajiggies. I don't even know what these things are. I just scan them and they're doing pretty well. 15, 20 bucks. If anybody knows what these things are, let me know, but I got to do some more research. Got a Sony one as well. That whole thing was like $3.99 and this particular model is going for about 15 or 20, maybe even upwards to 30 bucks new. A few of them are new, a few are used. So that was a really nice score. All right, here we go on to my next item. This was probably one of my best finds that I came across today. This is actually the Garmin Forerunner 205. And pretty much this is a watch that you can put on yourself while you're running. And it keeps track of a whole bunch of different things, including time, your pace, your calories burned, um, a lot of different things. But, but supposedly it's one of the best ones on the market. And I actually paid up for this one. This was $69.99 at Savers. But on Amazon, it looks like this is going for somewhere around $200, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. So I'm pretty confident I could pull out at least $200 right there. Here we got a Microsoft Visual Basics. And this is some old software from the early 2000s. But you know this is the type of stuff that does really well. Now this is used, but I did double check it and it's complete. And that was only $3. And that's going for, I think, $30 or $40, maybe a little more. Here we got another item, a random cable. 
brand new in the box. And this is going for about $30, 20 to $30, I believe. Here we have an AT&T phone, and I've done really well with these in the past. That was 10 bucks. That should bring in somewhere between 50 to 70. Next is a meat tenderizer, and when I brought this to the Goodwill register, the woman who was cashing me out was so intrigued by this. I don't know why, but I guess she was a big cook and whatnot, but this was $3.99. This was at one of the first Goodwills I went to, and that's going for somewhere around $30. So who would have known, but uh, hey, I'm not going to complain. I'm just picking it and reselling it. Next up, this is actually from the thr same thrift store that I found this meat tenderizer. This is a Dazzle digital video creator and this is a connector for camcorders so this was actually 59 or 69.99 brand new at best buy not sure what year this is from but uh 399 i believe this was going for around 30 or 40 dollars so that's pretty cool here we've got an olympus c3040 used camera and um did a little inspection. This thing's in really good condition. It's complete in the box. That's one of the reasons why I purchased this. And it uh, looks like this is going for somewhere between $60 to $80, give or take. I paid $15 bucks on that. So that's going to be an experiment. I'm really looking to get into a lot of the camera stuff and the electronics, as you can see on Amazon FBA. So this is somewhat of an experiment, but the rank was pretty decent. I believe it was around maybe twenty or 30000 rank. Maybe a little less, so we'll see how that does. But looks like I'll be in for some profit. Here we've got a CD writer kit, a 16 by 1040. What does that mean? I have no clue, but it was $5.99, brand new in the package. And it looks like that's going for about 30 bucks. Only reason I picked that up is because it's brand new. And last but not least, actually I have two more items. Is this Wheel of Fortune brand new in the packaging? game this was $3.99 and I actually found this at Savers pinned up against the wall and I almost passed by it but that's going to bring in about $35 and last but not least is a Rubik's Cube game brand new in the package really good rank it was about $9,000 in toys so it's not the amazing but it's definitely a good rank and that was $5.99 paid up a little for that but it looks like that's going to be bringing in around $25 bucks. so that was my haul and oh yeah I have one last thing to show you so I'm not actually like looking for clothing in particular, but I happened to just touch this piece of clothing and I said to myself, wow, this thing feels like money. And it was uh, $14.99. Let me see if I can show you the tag. I don't know if you could see that or not. It's pretty dark in here, but it's actually a Prada suit, which is a super rare find. I don't think I've ever come across a Prada suit and I checked it out. It's definitely real. It's really high quality and that should bring in somewhere between probably between 100 to 200, maybe even $300 just based on the design and the pinstripes and whatnot. So we'll see how that does, but definitely an eBay item right there and really, really excited about that because I know for a fact that's going to bring in some really good cash. So those were my finds. Those were the items that I came across today while sourcing. And I was out for a pretty long time today. But like I was saying, when I was on Periscope today, I was telling people, you know, this isn't work for me. This is fun, especially sourcing for Amazon FBA. I mean, eBay, you know, thrifting through the clothes and sifting through the racks for hours at a time. That could be grueling and demanding, but... You know, when you're just looking for random electronics like this stuff and you're just walking around looking on shelves, I mean, for me, that's really just a walk in a park. It's a breeze and it's a lot of fun. It's exciting. Welcome back so to another video. And in today's video, I want to share with you some of my garage sale finds that I found on an early Saturday morning. I woke up at about, I don't know, seven-ish, got out to the yard sales by eight and uh, yard sale for about about three hours. So uh, I want to share with you what I found. I spent approximately $100, maybe $115 on everything that you see in front of me. And I also have a uh, another item in the garage uh, that I'll show you as well, which is a pretty crazy score. But spent a little over $100 on this haul. Everything you see has come from a garage sale out here in Vernon, Connecticut. And I think that after all said and done, I could sell this for $1,000 plus. Now, it's not going to be all profit. That's gross. Uh, I haven't broken down what the profit's going to be. But I'd say I'm going to profit at least at least $500 on this. And I, I feel like that's really conservative. So let's jump into this garage sale haul. And let me share with you what I found. Check this out, guys. All these books that I popped on right here. You know what? Garage sales are a great opportunity to get your hands on profitable books, especially textbooks. I actually got these from two different people, but the majority of these books came from a woman who had just graduated with her master's degree 
And she has a lot of cool books. I mean, look at this. Essential Linguistics, Language, Making Choices, Diverse Needs, Working with uh, Disabilities. I mean, look at all these crazy textbooks. And right when I saw these things, I had a feeling they were going to be worth some good money. And some of these were 30 40 bucks. 40 um, I think there's one over 100 That's pretty long tail. But uh, this is crazy. Paid a dollar each for these. And uh, should definitely make at least a couple hundred bucks, I'm hoping. I, I still need to do some more research on this. Uh, but for, you know, 20 bucks I spent, I think, maybe less. Less than a dollar on some of these. For 15 20 bucks. 20 uh, one of these, when, when one of them sells, I'll make my money back. So that's really cool. I think this was my first garage sale that I hit up, and I popped on these uh, two video game items. Uh, I've got a, a Sega Game Gear that came with the whole entire case and everything, which was really cool. Um, even has this little battery pack that I've never seen before. If any of you guys have ever seen this for Game Gear, let me know. Uh, but that's very interesting. It's got the, uh, the battery, the Game Gear, and then it's got a bunch of games as well. Um, X-Men, uh, Mickey Mouse, Solitaire, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, um, I, got, I haven't even looked these up, these games yet, but uh, I paid 18 bucks for this right here, and I know I could sell the game gear for at least 40 or 50 bucks, so I popped on it and, uh, hoping that maybe some of the games will bring me in some additional income. This is a really cool find, guys. If you could ever find anything like this, pick it up all day long. This is a Game Boy Color, uh, Pikachu, Pikachu edition, and take a look at this thing, guys. I mean, this thing is in freaking mint condition. I mean, it's in such nice shape. It's really hard to find. Um, shout out to my buddy Brandon. He uh, he showed some interest in buying this off of me for his collection. So Brandon, if you're watching this, you better make a move quick because if you don't, it's going off to either eBay or Amazon FBA. Also got the game right here. That's probably a $30, $40 game. And this, believe it or not, is going for like $70 to $90. So uh, it depends on what platform I sell that on. Uh, the Grinch, I don't know if that's worth anything. But those were some pretty cool finds right there. Um, moving on, a few random items new in the box. This is a Conair automatic beater and styling kit. This was long tail, but if that sells, it should go for like $30, I'm hoping. That was only $1. This is a cool find right here. This is one of those uh, wireless Plantronics headsets. And uh, this is wireless, which makes it very, very uh, expensive. I mean, take a look at this uh, online. I don't know the exact model, but uh, I believe these were going for like 150 to 250 used. I still need to do some more research, so don't quote me on that. Uh, but when I did my uh, initial due diligence, these things were going for ridiculous amounts of money. So uh, pretty cool item right there. I paid $10 on that. Here's a, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Mag Magnavox. It's one of those things for your TV or, or for the uh, for the satellite, uh, I don't even know. Something to do with television. I'd have to do some more research on it. But look this up right here, the model number. These were brand new in the box. Paid $10 each. Tried to negotiate. They said, oh, the person who's selling them, they left, so I can't take any any better offers. So uh, I just paid the 10 each. These were going for like 48 or 49 each, brand new, uh, with a super low rank. So she do really well on those, make probably 20 bucks profit. As you guys know, new in the box, pretty much anything, if it's a board game or a puzzle, or any type of game, always scan it. I think that was going for like 15. Got to double check that. Here's a really cool item right here. This is one of those uh, scuba diving uh, meters. I'm not exactly sure what it's what it's for, but it, it, it reads something. I have to do some more research on it. Don't know how to pronounce this brand. Maybe Sunto. But I looked this up, and it looks like similar models. And actually, I think I found the same model. It was going for about $100. So got that for $25. Again, they, they weren't really negotiating much. But uh, I think I'll be able to make some money right there. Scuba diving equipment, always be on the lookout for. I've seen some crazy haul videos where they go for lots of money. Uh, so that's kind of what attracted me to it, thanks to YouTube. And, and just seeing other people sell it, I uh, looked it up. And it, hopefully, it'll go for some pretty decent money. This was a cool find right here. This is Catchphrase. It's an electronic game, and again, guys, any board game or any type of game that's new in the box, always look it up. I went to this yard sale at about 2.30 in the afternoon. I was done yard sailing, and uh, my mother and I, we had we had connected. We went out to Whole Foods, got some lunch, and we ended up seeing a sign for a, for a yard sale yard sale. So we said, you know what, let's go stop and let's see if we could find anything. We, you know, our ex expectations were low because it was 2.30, but guess what? Found this and found a uh, Cranium board game, both of them brand new in the box. I said to the woman, what's a fair price for these two games? She goes, well, they are new in the box. Um, I was charging 50 cents for the used one, so would you do a dollar each? And I was like, oh my gosh, thinking to myself, cha-ching. That's selling for 50. The other game was going for 35. That's not here. I gave it to my mother as a gift. I said, Mama Profits, 
thank you for raising such a great child. I didn't say that, but yeah, gave that to her. So pretty good profits right there. Check this out, guys. This is one of those uh, laptop bags. This is for a 17-inch laptop. Check that out. Not familiar with the brand, but this thing was brand new with the tags, right? So I said, you want to know what? Bada bing, bada boom. Let me scan it to see if I can bring in some profits soon. And this thing was coming up for $59.99. Asked them how much they wanted for it. They said five bucks. So it should make about 30 bucks profit on that. That was just really cool. I mean, make sure you guys, I want to say right now, make sure to get approved in clothing, shoes, luggage, watches, because you never know when you're going to have an opportunity. And if you're gated off, that opportunity is going to go to the next guy. So uh, yeah, I, I attended this garage sale pretty late as well. So maybe Pickers had scanned it and it said restricted, so they didn't buy it. But um, in any event, pretty cool find right there. Here's some video games that I popped on. Mama Profits actually found this video game haul. She let me have a few of these. Uh, this is Kirby, brand new in the package. That's going for like 20 something. Here's Pokemon Conquest. Uh, paid I ended up doing a deal for, I think it was nine bucks for three. So $3 each for these, 20 something there. And this one's like 30 bucks, both used. Another brand new in the box item. This is an older, you know, PC type of item. I, I think that was long tail. Not sure what that was going for. Uh, right here, got a CD player by Sony. I think that's like 20 bucks or so. And this is a cool find as well. This is a Keurig, um, one of those carousel holders for the cups and stuff. And this was brand new as well in the package, never opened. And I just gave it a scan, guys. I mean, I'm not doing anything special. I just whipped out my phone and I gave it a scan. It was coming in at $79.99 new. So uh, sounds kind of ridiculous for this, but uh, yeah, I don't know. The rank was good and it's brand new. So we'll see how we do right there. But yeah, guys, that is the haul. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, I'm not going to end this video quite yet. Let's go downstairs because I want to show you a crazy find that I uh, I came across as well. And there are some legal issues. You're probably thinking to yourself, legal issues. Yes, there are some legal issues that may hinder the, the sale of the item. So I might have to get a little clever and go out of state. You guys are thinking to yourself, Steve, this sounds really sketchy. Yes, it is a little sketchy. I, I have a valuable uh, lesson for you guys who live in Connecticut. But in any event, let's go downstairs into the garage and let me show you this sketchy item that I picked up and you guys can let me know uh, your opinion. So with that being said, bada bing, bada boom, let's go in the garage. Cha-ching, check this out guys right here. I, I can't plug it in because my extension cord doesn't reach, uh, but this thing fully works. It's a uh, God game uh, slot machine. Now it isn't one of the vintage ones, I don't believe. I think this is more current, um, but it works 100%. The actual tokens will come out and uh, I'm not gonna open it all up right now because I don't really know how to use it that much, but we tested it out at the yard sale and uh, it fully works. I do wanna say this thing is so freaking loud. So, you know, some of my buddies were like, Steve, you should just keep it, it's cool, it'll be fun. This thing's so loud and I can't figure out the volume. The volume actually won't go down and the owner said, I can't figure out how to turn the volume down as well. This thing is so loud, it would literally wake up everybody in my neighborhood um, in my uh, apart apartment complex. So anyways, guys, um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to pop on this thing. And I'm going to be honest with you. I had a game plan with this. My game plan was to buy this and flip it to a pawn shop for a quick flip because I'm not really a huge fan of messing with these like big bulky items. I don't know. It's just, just not my forte. So my game plan was to buy this thing and flip it to a pawn shop. And I really thought that I would be able to do it because it, I got this thing so cheap, guys. This thing, I got it for $50 cash. And uh, I looked up the eBay sold listings and there were a few of them that were selling for like 300 plus uh, plus $300 shipping. So I'm like thinking to myself, all right, if this thing's selling for, you know, five, $600, you know, with shipping and all on eBay, then I should be able to get at least, you know, 200 for a quick flip. So anyways, I ended up popping on this thing for $50. And when I got in my car, I actually called up one of my connects at the pawn shop and I said, Hey, listen, uh, I got this item. Would you be interested in it? And immediately they said, no. And I was thinking to myself, why are they why are they saying no so quickly? So I started kind of investigating, and uh, the guy and I were talking. He said, "Listen, man, you can't sell these things in Connecticut. When the casinos came in, when Mohegan and um, Foxwoods came in, they they made all these laws that they were the only ones that were allowed to game. So it's actually illegal. This is what he said. I haven't double checked it, but he says it's actually illegal to sell any type of item like this, the slot machines and stuff, in Connecticut. And to go a step further, he said every time in the past he would he would try to list these." things on eBay, they would get torn down as well. The listings would get taken down by eBay. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do right here. I told you this was a little sketchy and it is a learning experience for sure. Um, 
The suggestion he gave me was if you want to sell this and you want to be on the right side of the law, go over to Massachusetts and make the sale over there. So I might do that. I'm not sure. I, I still need to think about what to do. But anyways, guys, paid 50 on this. Who knows? Maybe I'll lose my shirt. Maybe I won't. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, definitely a cool item right you there. Know, and so. I just left the Goodwill, which is right over here. And uh, I popped on a couple items. And uh, I just want to share with you my little thrift haul and uh, share with you what I found how much I hope to sell it for, what I paid for, in hopes to help you out. So if you're ready to rock and roll, let's dive into this video. All right, so this is actually an item that I found uh, right before Goodwill at the Salvation Army. I want to share this with you. This is a uh, Disney Pixar Wally -E toy. Pretty cool. You can see the original price tag from Toys R Us. Uh, that was $16.99. Ended up getting this for $5.99. I forgot what it's going for. I think it was going for like 20 or 30 bucks. I've got to double scan it, but uh, I know it was going for some pretty decent cash. Some of these older toys that are, you know, outdated and they don't sell them anymore, they go for really good cash. So uh, that was really cool. Always, always scan, scan the barcodes and see what it's selling for. This item that I picked up was this. Um, Board game, Great States Junior for ages two to four. No, two to four players ages four to seven. Uh, there's a price tag on the back, an original price tag of $24.99. Ended up paying six bucks for this item right here. I forgot what it's selling for. I always forget what it's going for. I think it was going for like 20 bucks or something like that. I've got to double check this one. Uh, but I love board games, you know, just scan them. Scan them all day long, let me know what this is going for in the comment section because I know you guys love to look up what I buy. But uh, yeah, you know, I'll pick up board games and make three or four bucks, you know? I'll make a 30, 40, 50% ROI on these items because they sell quickly. Now again, I forget what the, the rank was on this and I forget what it's selling for, but I could only imagine that if I bought it, it's probably worth some decent cash. All right, next item up is this Puzz 3D, uh, puzzle this is brand new in a stretch wrap check out the price guys three bucks on this pretty confident i'm going to put this on uh ebay versus um amazon because it's got a little it's really hard to show you this because there's not a lot of room in this car but it's kind of uh got a little indentation right here it's been kind of pressed in a little bit so you know selling stuff like this on amazon worries me you know if it's not in like brand new gift ready condition. And what I mean is like it's in perfect condition as if it's like coming right off the store shelf. Um, I think this was going for like 30 or 40 bucks new, something around there. So for three bucks, definitely an awesome item. Yeah, cool. Check out Puzz 3D. Some of the Puzz 3D items can go for really, really big money. That one wasn't super popular. Um, here's another board game. Got this from uh, Salvation Army, $2.99. I mean, these things always do well. Right, this is from 1990. The game is Othello for two players ages eight to adult, you know, brand new from 1990. There's gonna be someone out there who played this game when they were a kid, when they were younger, and they're gonna want it new because I'll tell you the thing about new is they know all the pieces are gonna be in there. Now it might not be in perfect shape. There's some, you know, shelfware and whatnot, but so many times people buy used board games and you know, the pieces are missing. So if you could find it new, find that people wanna buy it more often and for a better value. Let's get a, let's get a thumbnail real quick. Hold on one second. Some more stuff that I popped on. Let me pull out the receipt. So for this stuff right here, because I've gotten a few of those other Goodwill items uh, a couple days before, but this is everything I just popped on from this Goodwill right here. Got the receipt. And uh, I spent, uh, what I spent? I spent $25.25 total right there. You probably can't see it. Um, ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six items. So yeah, let me share with you what I found. Um, I'm gonna save this one for last because that's a really good item. But I found a bunch of these uh, Fujifilm HQ120 uh, VHS tapes, blank tapes. Um, these things do really well. On Amazon, they were scanning in around like 20 bucks. Now, I believe these were being ranked in like a subcategory. So, you know, the rank was like 20 and I know it's not gonna sell that fast and the reviews weren't that great. So it's a little sketchy, but I know I can lock these up and put them on eBay and definitely make some money. But I think I'll probably just send them into Amazon because I've done well with these in the past. And that's the beauty, you know, about having experience with products. You know, the rank might not be the best or maybe there's not a, re a lot of reviews, but you, you're confident in, in selling it because you've got experience selling it. So, um, picked up one, two, uh, three, 
three of those. And then I also picked up another one. This is actually by Sony. You guys, be on the lookout for these items. They do really well. Um, this is a Sony standard grade uh, T120 VF, 246 minutes, six hour tapes. There's five of them in this bundle, four bucks. This one was actually going really, uh, doing selling for really well on, on Amazon. It was ranked like 15 or 20 with 40 reviews and it was going for like 21 bucks. So I'll make about 14 or 15 on that one. If, if, you're, if you're gated off on Amazon, you could sell DVDs on eBay, right? Or if you're ungated on Amazon, you've got the best of both worlds. But I was actually restricted with this item on Amazon and uh, it was six bucks. The DVD is Father Murphy. And uh, apparently this is somewhat rare. You know, certain weird little DVDs like this, I always like to scan them because sometimes they're, they're just hard to come across and people are willing to pay good money. And it looks like these are selling between, I saw some sell for 15, but I saw a good amount sell for 30 on eBay. And it was going for like 40 or 50 on Amazon, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I, I think it was going for really high on Amazon, but I was restricted. Uh, yeah, this is season one, Father Murphy, six bucks. It was 100% complete. You know, always make sure to open them up and make sure that all the, you know, DVDs are in there. And, you know, what I always like to do is lift one up. Let me do that. Ugh, lift one up and make sure that it's not all scratched up, which, you know, these are in really good condition. But I'm going to try to sell this for like 25, 30 bucks on eBay. So after fees, you know, I'll probably make hopefully 15 bucks or so on this right there. So that was pretty cool. Um, I was walking out of the thrift store today, the Goodwill, the one I spent 25 bucks at, and saw this. Saw this Age of Empires, um game and uh some of these do really well others don't do as well but this was 100 percent complete this particular version is going for about uh 45 or 49 on amazon used at this point in time again it may change it looks like they were doing pretty well on ebay as well but um a lot of them were coming from the uk i didn't see many u.s sellers but uh this thing's 100 percent complete right here this is really really cool and uh yeah for six bucks i'll probably hopefully i'll make 20 30 bucks on that so uh made out pretty well so yeah i just want to share with you guys some of the items that i found again you know popped on these right here this was a cool little find uh the dvd the wally all these i mean found some pretty good stuff so you know you gotta go if you want to get lucky you got to show up to the thrift store go pick in dig through this stuff and uh, you can get lucky so with that being said guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did do me a big favor guys and you know look down below and smash that like button leave a comment let me know how things are going for you I got a little chest hair showing i apologize but let me know how business is going for you guys let me know you know how's life how's business uh you know leave a comment i love interacting i read all the comments subscribe and uh, i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video all right i'll talk to you later and keep on picking and making out money peace